really excited to have Hillary Duff here in studio with us this afternoon. How are you? I'm great. I'm good. I'm um, I'm running on a like just a little bit of sleep, but I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Um, congratulations on sort of making your comeback to music. Um, you've been away for seven years. So during that time, were you always hoping to do more music, or was this just out of sight, out of mind the whole time? I don't think you know when I when I took my break. Once I got off tour, I was like, I'm done. I'm not, you know, you, I was always making plans for our next tour, next album, next this. And I was just like, uh-uh, you know, mm -hmm. I need to just take a break. And I didn't intend for it to last this long. But music's always been a part of me. So I feel like I always knew I'd get back to it eventually. I just didn't know when. And after I had Luca, um, after about a year and a half, you know, I was sitting down like, what do I really miss the most? Do I want to be on a TV show again? Do I want to focus on trying to find a really great movie? And I think that, you know, what it was was really missing the creative outlet of making a record and, you know, working with people that um, inspire me and, and, and being back on tour again, you know, being on the road. So um, it just felt like a good time. And I felt like I finally had some stuff to talk about and say. Um, and that's, you know, how it was. So... I don't think I, I thought I never would do it again. I just didn't know when. So do you remember a moment where you were like, music, that's it, of all of the options, because you've done it all, that was the one you wanted to get back into right now? Like a specific moment? Mm -hmm. Or just like, how did you know this was the right time? Oh, because I just think I missed it. You know, I was just, I started thinking about it all the time. I started writing randomly, um, which I hadn't done during that whole break. I hadn't even thought about trying to write a song. Um, and I started, like, just getting a lot of, like, inspiration and make... I always, like, make voice notes on my phones mm -hmm. with ideas for songs. And um, sometimes, like, I would just wake up in the middle of the night and start, like, writing ideas out. So I was like, okay, I think that I should listen to this. Something is telling me that, you know, maybe I'm missing music. And that's how it happened. Definitely. I called my manager, who I hadn't talked to in quite some time, and I'm like, hey, I'm ready to do this again. And he was like, oh, are you really giving me this phone call right now? I can't believe it. That's amazing. <laughs> and like every year or like six months or something would go by, and he'd call me or send me a text. I'm like, nope, I'm not ready yet. So it's exciting to, to be on this journey again, you know, round two. So have you found it's a bit like riding a bike, like you were able to get right back in there? Or was there a little bit sort of like working off the rust? Of course, it was like working off the rest, but there's there was so much excitement involved, you know, it was like feeling a lot of feeling very like passionate, inspired and um, <clears throat> like, you know, I think when, once I set my mind on something, I'm really uh, driven about it. So uh, it felt good, but yeah, a little nerve wracking, you know, to walk in the studio and be in front of a mic again and hear what my voice sounds like now. And I mean, I've always sang, but um you know, my style and who I am changed during that whole process. So, um, you know, the subject matter of what I was talking about and what was inspiring me, you know, it was it was cool, but it is like shaking off the rest. <laughs> so regarding the album, I know we don't have a release date yet or anything, but mm -hmm. can you talk a bit about, um, you know, the singles we've heard so far? Is that kind of what it's going to sound like? What have you been writing about? That kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is very happy. A lot of it's like mid-tempo stuff. Um a little threaded with like a earthy, folky vibe, but it's definitely straight, straight pop music. Um, and it's not such a huge departure. I mean, people aren't going to listen to it and be like, whoa, who's that? You know, it, it definitely sounds like my voice and my style of writing. And um, But it's it's more mature and it's it's just kind of, you know, authentically me, just certain I would go into the studio and you know we'd write about whatever was inspiring us that day or who I'd be sitting down with might you know bring something else out in me or whatever it was you know it was cool to work with so many different people because different emotions come up or um, they bring something out in you that's cool you know well it's a mixed bag of you know stuff that I've gone through and there's like things that I came up with with other writers well, and I was actually going to ask about the writers. I know you're working with people like Ed Sheeran, Colby Calais. Um, this time around, I think the people you're writing with are closer to being your peers, like in age. Have you noticed that that has changed the dynamic coming back seven years later, working with people your age as opposed to being like 18, 19 years old in a studio mm. with a bunch of grownups? Mm. 
I know this is like a very long pause, but I'm trying it's to really okay. think about it. Um, no, not really. I didn't write with Ed. That was Ed's song. He wrote it. And so it was, I mean, it's such a good song. I love it. It's called Tattoo. And um, just that whole experience was really cool because I love him. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a lot of the writers that I worked with are older than me. Um, I wrote with this guy, Savin Kocheka, who's amazing. And um, he, it's so funny because you can sit down with someone who's like, I mean, I'm 27, and sometimes I'll sit down with a top liner who's, 40 or 45 or something and you're still on they're still amazingly talented you know like and you could just get on the same level as them somehow but I, I feel like they bring to the table stuff that you don't and you bring stuff to the table that they don't and so it's always interesting to you know not just be like well I only want to write with someone my age mm-hmm. you know um, also because they probably bring a little more musical background than what I actually have. You know, mine's more about the subject matter. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to talk music. Like, no. <laughs> I can hear something and be like, I don't like the way that thing sounds, that sound. What's that sound, you know? But they'll be like, oh, that's the snare and the this kind of percussion. I'm like, yeah, it's doing something weird. And like, so it's nice to work with people that know what they're doing. Definitely. Not just like somebody that's tinking on a computer and knows how to make a beat, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think, especially in the last couple of years, we've seen that people have a really hard time letting former Disney stars kind of grow up. Mm. They freak out as soon as they start being adults. Are you mm-hmm. worried about that at all? Because you sort of missed like the troubled 21, 22 years by sort of st- taking a step back. I didn't miss them. I just didn't do them in the public yeah. eye. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like the cameras weren't on you at those moments. So, um, I don't plan on going buck wild anytime soon, so I don't really have anything to be worried about. Um, it's just not really me. Um, but yeah, I think people are starting to get over it. Everyone loves to have stuff to talk about. So, you know, if Miley Cyrus is giving them good stuff to talk about because they're so worried about what she's not wearing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like it's giving everyone uh, something to talk about for the day. Yeah. So, um, So it's a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, we need it. We love to, like, dwell on it or whatever. But um, I love that she's, like, just doing her thing unapologetically. And all of the other girls are, too. And it's awesome to see so many girls coming from Disney and Nickelodeon like me and just killing it out there, Mm -hmm. you know? And and it seems like everyone's kind of in their own lane, which is cool. And um, I don't know. I feel like music's changed so much. It's all about, like... uh, Nothing's shocking anymore. Yeah. Right? Except for Disney star gone bad or yeah. something. <laughs> exactly. We're, we're, we're getting used to that, too. Right? The public's getting used to that, too. Soon it'll be old news. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine so, what's up next. No. <laughs> <laughs> so how has the, the fan reaction been now that you've come back to music? It's been amazing, honestly. I mean, just to sit, sit on my Twitter and, and, and look at, you know, the response I've gotten or, like, on my Facebook and see, you know, all around the world – people that are really excited for, for my new music, it's it's overwhelming in a positive way, you know, to see that so many people still care. And um, the music business is so fickle, you know, it's all about, like, what do you have right now? What's, like, wh- how many number one hits have you had or whatever? So um, to see that so many people still care is amazing. And um, I feel really lucky to have fans for you know over 12 years that have stuck by me and grown up with me and are now in the same you know spot as me definitely in life I guess um so when I was watching some of the other interviews that you've done recently they always start with these big like five minute recaps of like Hillary did this and that and that when you watch those things is that a little bit surreal to see yourself yes. yeah it's weird <laughs> it's so weird because it just feels like a different lifetime ago for me um but it is a nice it helps me remember because that time in my life was such a blur like Mm -hmm. literally it just seems like I was running and I couldn't stop running you know like it was just so busy and um and and not some of the really cool exciting things that I did don't stick out because they were it was so much of it and um so to see people do those little clips and stuff it's cool and sometimes the numbers are overwhelming they're like sold over 17 million records I'm like I did when was that like you know it's kind of it's crazy it's awesome and it's overwhelming and uh, cool 
Um, I did want to ask you a question about all the charity work you do, because I know you're really passionate about like kids and animals mm. and stuff like that. When you get involved in an organization, how do you pick the right one for you? And how much time do you spend doing research and stuff like that to choose a good one? Mm. Um, I think that I'm like my I have my hand in a bunch of different kids charities, so it's hard for me to just stick and choose stick to one and just choose one you know I'm, I'm like all over the place because if someone tells me about something and I get inspired by it I'm you usually jump in or like willing to clear my schedule somehow to get involved um, because I, I just am so passionate about children and children's rights and taking care of uh, our youth you know because they're going to be the ones hopefully outsmarting us and doing a better job than we did. And um, everyone deserves a, a, fi a fighting fair chance at life. And everyone deserves a hot meal. And everyone deserves kindness, you know. So um, I don't I don't know. I, I do spend time making sure that the, the organizations are quality ones, you know, because sometimes they're not always, which is sad. Um, but I'm all over the place with it. You know, I don't I don't just stick to one and now that I have my my child, it's even deeper and and heavier, you know, but more important to me. Yeah, definitely. I saw you doing the the no kids like you didn't want paparazzi taking a picture of your kid, which yes. I think is awesome. Yeah. So well, you yeah. know what? I was thinking the other day, too, because I was at the, the park with my kid, and I had the opportunity to have one of these guys arrested, and I felt so bad because he was telling me, uh, I got to pick up my kids from cool school. I got to pick up my kids from school. Don't do this. Don't do this. And I kept saying to him the whole time through the park, please don't take our picture right now. Like, I have this three hours to play with my kid right now. Please, not at the park. It's really inappropriate. Please leave. Please don't take this picture. And I was thinking, he probably f stands up for his kid and fights for his kid, but yet... I can't, I'm I'm a bitch all of a sudden if I have this guy arrested for standing up for mine, for some mm -hmm. weirdo taking up his picture of the park, you know? And I was like, I've got to fight for his rights too. I fight for other kids' rights. Yep. So um, I'm really a big believer in that. And I do believe there's a time and place for paparazzi, and I understand that it comes with the job sometimes. But these kids don't deserve it, and it's not their fault. Yeah. And people are like, well, it comes along with the business you're in. And when I got into the business, it wasn't like that. Yeah. So this is like a whole new thing that we've had to learn and deal with. Yeah. Well, I definitely, I think it's great. So thank keep you. It up. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we're probably running out of time. I just wanted to ask you when and where can we find more information about new music, the album, maybe a tour in the future, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty active on my social media stuff. Instagram's definitely my favorite, so it's just my name, which is Hillary Duff, at Hillary Duff. And, um, you know, Twitter, I tweet. I, like, I'll go on tweeting spurts where I'm really <laughs> active for a few days, and then I'll, like, forget all about it for a few days. Um, but it's really nice to connect with people on there, and I'm learning that, you know, getting more into the music and the promo of it all, like really reaching out and having conversations with fans over Twitter is, is pretty awesome. And I wasn't really using it that way before. Mm -hmm. And then my Facebook, you know, I, I'm pretty active on that too. Cool. Well, I really hope all the music does well. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for coming in and talking with us awesome. today. Awesome. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much.